Hello, my name is Iman Jibi. I am here to help you review for your exam. In this video, we'll talk about the different parts of an English exam. Before we start talking about the English exam, there is a very important thing you should remember. When you get the exam paper, you should write your names first. Then, the second thing you have to do is read the exam questions and please take your time to read them carefully. Finally, read your text and start answering your questions. Now, let's talk about the English exam. In this exam, there are three parts. First, the reading comprehension. Second, the language. Third, the writing. The reading comprehension is over six marks. In the reading comprehension, there is a text and two or three questions. In the text, there are 100 words maximum. The two to three questions can be complete a table or a list, Complete a sentence or a paragraph with words from the text. Choose the right title for the text. Choose the right word. Circle true or false statements. For this video lesson, we will have 2017's exam text and three comprehension questions. First one, choose the right title for the text. Second, complete a table or a list. Third, complete a sentence or a paragraph with information retrieved from the text. Millie is 12 years old. Every morning she gets up at 6 o'clock. She goes to the bathroom, washes her face, combs her hair and brushes her teeth. Then she goes back to her room and wears her clothes. In the kitchen she has breakfast. At 7.30 she takes her bag and goes to school. At midday she has lunch at school. In the afternoon she plays tennis. In the evening she watches cartoons on TV plays with her brother and sister. At 8 o'clock, she has dinner with her family. At 9, she goes to bed. So the first task is choose the right title for the text. And we have three possible titles. Number one is a day at school. Number two is a day in the life of Millie. And number three is a day out. Very good. A good title for this text is a day in the life of Millie. Our second task is complete the following table. In this table, some of the information are missing. You have to carefully read the text to complete them. The first part is done for you. So at six o'clock, Millie gets up. Then when does Millie go to school? That's right, at 7.30. At 12 o'clock, what does Millie do? That's correct, Millie has lunch because midday means 12 o'clock. Finally, when does Millie have dinner? Very good, at 8 o'clock. Now the last task, you have to complete the paragraph with words from the text. Let's read the paragraph. In the morning, Millie has breakfast in the... Where does she have breakfast? In the kitchen, that's correct. Then she puts on her and goes to school. What does she put on? That's right, her clothes. After school she plays. What does she play? Very good, tennis. At night before she goes to bed, she... What does she do before going to bed? Excellent, she plays with her brother and sister. So. You can see the reading comprehension part in the English exam is not a difficult one. Now, let's go to the second part of the exam, language. The language part is over eight marks. There are two or three tasks in the language part of the exam. These tasks can be fill in the blanks with words from the box. There's an extra word. Circle the correct alternative in a paragraph. Match sentence parts to get correct sentence or sentences. Look at the picture or pictures and complete the paragraph with the right word or words. Match the picture or pictures with the word or words. Look at the picture or pictures and label it or them. Look at the picture or pictures and reorder its or their letters to write a meaningful correct word or meaningful correct words. Write the opposite of underlined words in a sentence or a paragraph. For this video lesson, we will have three language tasks examples from previous exams. The first task is from 2012's exam. 
Fill in the blanks with words from the box. There is one extra word. The second one is from 2015's exam. Circle the correct alternative in the paragraph. The third one is from 2017's exam, match sentence parts. Let's start with the first task. Here you have to complete the paragraph with words from the box. So in the box we have the following words. There, right, small, but. But here you have to be careful. There is an extra word. Let's read the paragraph. Jane is my friend. She lives with her parents in a house. So, in what type of house does Jane live? That's right, in a small house. There are three rooms in her house. There isn't a garden. Which word should we use here? Very good, but there isn't a garden. Her bedroom is on the... Which word to use here? That's correct, her bedroom is on the right. Jane has a computer and a TV in her room. Moving on now to the second task, you have to circle the correct word in the paragraph. Let's read the paragraph. Hello, my name is John Smith. I am on, of, from England. Which word should we circle in your opinion? That's right, I am from England. Then I am have, has, 30 years old. Which word is it? That's correct. I am 30 years old. I have got long, tall, slim, hair and brown eyes. What shall we circle? Very good. I have got long hair and brown eyes. Finally, for the third task, you have to match sentence parts to make sentences. So you have on your left three sentence parts, number one, two, and three. And on your right, you have their matching sentence parts, A, B, C, and D. It means that there is an extra one. So for sentence part number one, we have, Mr. Johnson gets up. Number two, he prepares breakfast for. And number three, then he goes to, then we have sentence part A, his wife and his children, then B, work, C, delicious cake, and D, early in the morning. So sentence part one, we match it with A, B, C, or D? That's correct, with D. Sentence part two, we match it with A, B, or C? That's right, with A. Finally, sentence part three, we match it with B or C? Excellent, with B. Now, let's have a look at the writing. The writing part is over six marks. In the writing part, there are two tasks. The first one is going to be one of the following tasks. Reorder the words to make a correct sentence. Reorder sentences to write a short paragraph. Match sentence parts to write a short dialogue. Task 2 will be one of the following tasks. Write a short email or write a postcard. For this video lesson, we will have two writing questions from previous exams for the first task. Question number one is from 2017's exam. Reorder the words to make a correct sentence. Task number two is adapted from 2009's exam. Reorder sentences to write a short paragraph. Let's start with task one. Reorder the words to make correct sentences. First sentence, we have the following words. School, we, five o'clock, finish, at. The sentence starts with we. What are the following words? Very good. We finish school at five o'clock. Second sentence, we have the following words. In, having, kitchen, they, breakfast, the, are. The sentence starts with they. What are the following words? That's correct. They are having breakfast in the kitchen. Third sentence, we have the following words. Sister, animals, his, Peter, and like. 
The first word in the sentence is pita. What are the following words? That's right, Peter and his sister like animals. Now let's go to question two. You have to reorder sentences to write a short paragraph. We have the following sentences. First sentence, their names are Allison and Susan. Second sentence, they all like going to the cinema. Third sentence, Andy has got two sisters. So now let's put the sentences in order. Sentence number one is Andy has got two sisters. Sentence number two is Their names are Allison and Susan. And sentence number three is They all like going to the cinema. Now for the second task in the writing, this task is a new one in the exam. You have to write a postcard or an email. Before writing this postcard or email, keep in mind the following steps. First, use the starting words like Hi, Hello, How are you? Second, use your punctuation marks and capital letters at the beginning of each sentence. Third, use the ending words like Love, Bye, See you, Write soon. Now we are going to practice writing. We start by reading this email. Hi Aya, my name is Lily. I am 12 years old. I am from England. I love dancing and playing the guitar. I live in a big house in Manchester. My house is next to the park. Every Sunday morning, I take my pet Toby to the park. Toby is a nice and friendly dog. What about you? What are your favorite hobbies? And do you have a pet? Love, Lily. So, your name is Aya and you have to write an email to your new friend Lily. In this email, you have to write about your name, age, country, favorite hobby or activity, house and pet. To say your name, you can either say, Hi, my name is Aya or Hi, I'm Aya. You can mention your family name if you want. So you can say, for example, Hi, my name is Aya Tunsi, or Hi, I'm Aya Tunsi. If you want to say your name, you have to remember to begin with I plus am plus name, or am plus name. For example, I am Aya, or I'm Aya. Now let's move to the second part, how to say your age. You can say, I am 12 years old, or I'm 12 years old. You can also say, I am 12, or I'm 12. The rule is, I plus am plus number, like 1, 4, 17, 38, etc. For example, I am 13, or I am plus number plus years old. Example, I am 13 years old. Now you know how to say your name and age. What other information do you need to introduce yourself? That's right, you can talk about your country. In this part, you can say where you come from. Many pupils are from Tunisia, of course. But some of you are from other countries like Algeria, Libya, France, Italy. So to talk about your country, you just say, for example, I am from Tunisia or I'm from Tunisia. The rule here is I plus am plus from plus country or am plus from plus country. For example, I am from Italy or am from Italy. After saying your name, age and the country where you come from, you can add some personal information. You can tell your new friend about your favorite hobbies or activities. Different people enjoy different hobbies and you can have more than one hobby. For example, you enjoy reading books, listening to music, drawing, watching TV, playing video games. And to talk about your favorite hobbies or activities, you say, I like playing video games, for example. Or if you like it very much, you can say, I love video games. You can also have lots of activities like swimming, playing tennis, football, basketball, handball. The rule is very easy here too. It's 
I plus like plus hobby or activity. For example, I like swimming. Or if you like this hobby very much, you can say I plus love plus hobby or activity. I love reading books, for example. Now you know how to say your name, age, the country where you live, and your favorite hobbies and activities. What can you also say? That's correct. You can say where you live. For example, I live in Beja, I live in Tatawin, I live in Paris, I live in Berlin. The rule here is easy. It's I plus live plus in plus city. Example, I live in Gafsa. Now let's describe the house where you live. Your house can be big, small, beautiful, nice. You can also say where your house is. It can be next to a restaurant, between the cinema and the park, near the bank. So next to, near, between are the words to be used to say where your house is. So let's see how we can use these words. In this picture, for example, the window is next to the door, the house is between the two trees, and the tree is near the house. Finally, you can finish your email by describing your pet. This pet can be a dog, a cat, a bird, or a rabbit. Now, let's write an email to Lily. Do you remember her email? Let's read it again. Hi, Aya. My name is Lily. I am 12 years old. I am from England. I love dancing and playing the guitar. I live in a big house in Manchester. My house is next to the park. Every Sunday morning, I take my pet Toby to the park. Toby is a nice and friendly dog. What about you? What are your favorite hobbies? And do you have a pet? Love, Lily. Now, let's write our email. What is the first thing we have to say? That's right. We start with the starting words and with the name. Hello, Lily. My name is Aya Tunsi. Second, we talk about our age. So we can say, that's good, I am 12 years old. Third, we talk about our country, and the name here is Ayatunsi. So we say, excellent, I am from Tunisia. Fourth, we talk about the hobbies and the activities that we like. We can say, for example, I like listening to music and reading books. After writing about your hobbies, you can describe your house. For example, I live in a small house in Tunis. Then you can say where your house is. For example, my house is between a supermarket and a cinema. Here we can add more details like Every Saturday evening, I go to the cinema with my mom. We love watching films. Finally, you can describe your pet. For example, Tom is my pet. He's a very lazy cat. He sleeps all day long. What about Toby? Is he lazy like Tom? Do not forget the ending words like love. Now, let's listen to Aya's email. Hi, Lily. My name is Aya. I am 12 years old too. I am from Tunisia. I like listening to music and reading books. I live in a small house in Tunis. My house is between a supermarket and a cinema. Every Saturday evening, I go to the cinema with my mom. We love watching films. Tom is my pet. He is a very lazy cat. He sleeps all day long. What about Toby? Is he lazy like Tom? Love, A. So you can see, writing an email to introduce yourself is very easy. Just remember to use capital letters at the beginning of sentences and full stops at the end. Try to avoid spelling mistakes and do not write long sentences. I hope this video lesson helps you review for your exam and good luck everyone!